Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm Anthony Wood and this is Shop Mad. In a previous video I made some garden furniture. I made two single seats and a love seat. Now in the last video I did say I was going to be making some seat pads and some scatter cushions so in today's video that's what I'll be making. I'm just going to start with cutting some foam. Um, the size I need is 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters and the thickness of the foam is 3 inch or 75 millimeters. Now I'm going to need to cut three of these out, or three of these out. Now to cut the foam I'm just going to use a regular household electric bread knife. Now this works great so I'm just going to get these shapes cut out now. Right guys, the foam's all cut now and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use some 6 ounce upholstery wadden just to cover the top sides. Now this is just going to give it a little bit more bounce inside of the waterproof covers. Now on the corners just trim off so they're nice and square and it should basically look like that now do this on the other three side pads now I'm just going to use some stockinette and I'm going to insert each of the seat pads inside this because one it holds it all together and two it makes it really easy to put inside of the seat pad covers Now I'm just going to adhere the stockinette straight onto the, the hollow fibre wadden and the foam. So when the stockinette's all on, it should look like that. For the seat bases I'm going to make the covers out of this forest green waterproof polyester fabric. Now I don't just want them all green so I figured I'd use some beige waterproof uh, polyester and I'm going to create a pipe and edge all the way along the top of the seat pads. I'm just going to make a start of cutting the piping out now. Now I need four lengths of beige fabric at 30 millimeters wide now this is for the piping but i need to make it just over two meters long i'm also going to pipe the scatter cushions as well so i'm going to have to cut another four lengths of two meters out of the beige fabric I'm now just going to start marking out um, the tops of all of the seat pad bases. Now these need to be 50 centimeters square and I'm going to leave a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Now 
and I'm going to need another three of these. Now for the bottom of the seat I need to make a three inch edge going all around the 50 meter square I'm going to mark out now. As well as that I need to make sure I've got quarter of an inch seam allowance on top of that as well. Well that's basically the shape marked out, now I'm just going to cut this shape out remembering for the quarter of an inch seam allowance. So you should basically have one like this. I'm just going to start by making all the piping so I'm just going to leave one inch past where I'm going to put the pipe and then I'm just going to fold fold it around the piping cord which you can buy off Abia. I'm just going to get all of these pieces now now I'm just going to get all the piping sewn up ready Right guys, I've got the top of one of the seat pads and I'm going to start by sewing on the, the pipe and edge now. Now I've marked the centre where I'm going to start the pipe and I'm just going to run this through the machine now. Now when you get to the corner, just put a nick in the pipe and so it goes around the corner easier. If you can remember, I'd place the piping cord about an inch in. Now this is so I can fold it over. So I'm just going to cut the piping to length. And then overlap the two pieces together. And then just carry on and sew them together. Now for a zip I'm just going to use number three along with number three sliders. Now this is just open-ended zip which I'm going to sew in to the backs of the seat pads. Right I've got the base covers now and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start sewing in this number three zip. I'm just going to sew up all of the corners and I'm going to line up the lines for the three inch edging. Now before I go any further I really need to put on the zipper itself. carry on round and I'm going to get all of the corners sewn up.
Right, so I've got all the corners sewn up now and I'm going to start and sew it onto the top of the seat pads. Now, I'm going to start with the zip side first and just line it up along the back edge. Keeping it nice and tight to the piping and to the corner. So your zip should basically look like that. I'm now going to carry on and sew the rest of the base to the lid. Rather, I'm going to carry on and I'm going to keep on sewing the base to the top of the seat pad. Again, making sure it's nice and tight up against the pipe and edge. And that's basically the cover sewn up, so I'm now going to turn it the right way around and I'm going to put the seat pad in place. I'm now just going to turn the cover the right way around so I can put the, the cushion insert in place. Basically, the C pad's gonna look like that when complete. Now to make the scatter cushions. Um, basically, they are 17 inches square to accept an 18 inch inner. Now, I've already got a template made at 17 inches square, but you may need to draw one out. Now for each cushion, you need to make two 17 inch square panels. When you're cutting your squares out for your cushions, don't forget to add quarter of an inch seam allowance all the way around the 17 inch square. And again, like the seat pads, I'm gonna put piping, beige piping, all the way around the edge. Now again, line it up to the center, and then gradually just sort all the way around. And cutting in the corners again to help it bend around the corner. And again, like the seat pad tops, just fold over the excess and just neatly fold it in place and then just sew it all in place. Now I'm just going to sew the zip along one edge. Now I want to create like a fold over over the top of the zip itself so 
I'm going to fold it over to the edge of the zipper itself. Now I've chose to use a, a beige thread just as a decorative feature. You may want to go with the same colour as the fabric. Folding the cover back over on itself. I'm now going to sew the zip onto the piping edge where it joins. So now your zip will be concealed. Now I'm just going to attach a zipper slider. Now I'm just going to turn the cushion the right way around because at the moment it's inside out. And your cushion should just look like that. Right, I'm just going to get an inner just to give you an idea of what the completed look is. If you like the video please give me a big thumbs up and consider subscribing for new content being added on a weekly basis. I've posted some photographs at the end of the video so please again just let me know what you think in the comments down below and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.